before facing a job interview, I honestly think you should uh, candidates should consider um, doing the homework and preparing and customizing both their interview and their CV um, in order to be able to provide the recruiter with what they're really asking for and what they're really requesting. Of course, you should always uh, you also sh you should also show your attitude and passion when it comes to um, answering the questions and showing uh, an interest towards the interview. The most common mistakes are the the fact that um, precisely candidates do not do the homework. They don't prepare the interview accordingly. They don't really know what the recruiter is looking for, and they try to pretend they know more English that they actually do. And this is one of the main key points that I, I try to clarify in the workshops. And this is why we invite people who, uh, irrespectively of their level of English, they, they will definitely get something out of the workshop because uh, many people try to pretend and try to show a level of English which is not their real level of English. And what I try to explain is that one thing is how much English you know, and another thing is how good you are at communicating in English. This workshop that we're doing right now is closely related to other workshop that we also have, the EOI, which uh, refer to Anglo-Saxon culture. And the Spanish culture and Anglo-Saxon culture are different in many ways, especially concerning business. And this means that not only should you know a little bit about English, you should also know about English culture. And therefore there are certain aspects such as time management, politeness, um, um, addressing people that um, should be considered uh, when you are speaking in English. Not only because your words uh, give information but also because your knowledge of the culture also provides the recruiter with how much English you, 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 show, you show to know. I mean right now in my case I, have, I am an English uh, trainer and consultant but whether it be for English, whether it be any other language, global globalization from the point of view of uh, being in a multicultural uh, environment uh, doing business uh, means that you need to be able to adapt and to recognize and to um, identify uh, different scenarios to which you have to, in which you have to act in order to obtain the best um, uh, results possible. And this means being able to adapt to all those scenarios.